And welcome back to the WHHI Daily News, where you just heard from the town of Hilton Head and their preparations. With us now is Stephen Combs. He is the PIO, the Public Information Officer for the Buford Fire Department. So uh, welcome, Stephen. Uh, what is Bl uh, Bluffton up to with their preparations for this? It appears to be a serious storm. Right. So we've been very closely monitoring the situation now for actually a couple of days when it was just a tropical depression. Our preparation activities are, uh, you know, making sure that we have appropriate staffing in place, making sure that equipment is ready and just overall preparedness for our families as well, making sure that they're taken care of. So, so we continue to monitor those right. things. So when you have you have emergency management and you have you know the sheriff's office, what what really is the role of a fire department or the fire office? Well, you know, one of the things that we're going to be addressing uh, is any types of rescue that may occur. You know, we we do have a swift water rescue team, as does uh, Hilton Head Fire Rescue. So we have those organization the, the structures in place. We have a high water rescue vehicle if necessary. You know, and some of the biggest concerns that we have right now is the timing of when the storm hits our area, especially if it comes through at that high tide area tomorrow right. evening. That timing is very critical of, of where we're going to see some of the storm inundation. Right. So we're talking Wednesday, late afternoon, Wednesday night, aren't we? And so we're, we are in high tide then? Yes, we're looking at a pretty good, significant high tide at that point. I want to say it's in the area of about 10 feet. Um, so... You know, you match that with the increased storm surge that we're expecting, and we probably will see some flooding in the low-lying areas here in the Bluffton area. All right. So what can we do as citizens in, in the area, and particularly Bluffton, what can we do to be prepared, Stephen? One of the things we encourage people right now while there's time to do so is just make sure you bring any outdoor equipment. If you have, you know, lawn furniture, um, chairs, umbrellas, anything that's outside, we're anticipating the potential for tropical storm force winds, which is greater than 39 miles an hour. So those items can become projectiles, and we just want to make sure that those are brought indoors uh, and, and protect your home and, and your neighbor's homes. Right. And uh, so besides bringing in things, what about like a, like a grill? I mean, like let's say you have a big gas grill. Should you try to move? It's pretty heavy. Can you leave that outside, or should you try to move that in into the garage, I guess, where would you put it? Or yeah, I would say anything that's outside, out on the deck or in the back patio, bring those things indoors. Uh, you know, we don't know really what the force of those winds would be, but anything that's out there has that okay. potential of causing damage, not only to your own home, but a neighbor's structure as well. Um, you know, just so secure those items. Okay. If you want to tie them down or okay. move them indoors, just make sure that they're not able to easily be blown around. Okay, Stephen, share with us how the, the fire safety, your department works with the city and the county. How do you all collaborate, emergency manager? How do you all, are you at constant, on constant meetings, Zoom meetings or whatever as you're preparing? Well, how do you all work together? Yeah, that's a great question. We have an incredible team that operates to, to ensure that Buford County is safe. We've got a great EMD that's over there at the sheriff's office. And they, we hold regular, in fact, we have uh, upcoming conference calls just to make sure that we're all on the same page. We coordinate those efforts with the police department and with the town officials. So, you know, there's a, it, it's, we're playing all off the same sheet of music. Okay, very good. Any final comments? We have about 30 seconds left for folks. Sure, make sure that you're getting good information, uh, you know, follow appropriate weather service uh, tweets and, and Facebook pages. Just rely on good, reliable sources of information. Very good. Stephen Combs, PIO for the, the uh, Bluffton Fire and Safety Office. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you.